Uh, hello, I'm here today to do a review of the Baddy machine. Um, the Baddy machine is a multi-feeding shuttle machine. It is by no means a way to replace your coach. I use the shuttle machine to practice what I train with my coach. Basically just reinforcing what we do on the, the one or two sessions that we do in the week. I'll normally do like morning sessions or uh, evening sessions, just practicing that on the days that I don't train with my coach. Um, what we did, just a way of reinforcing and um, just yeah, reinforcing and learning what I'm doing. Um, basically, today I'm going to go through all nine shots. Um, the machine doesn't smash; it does drives, clears, and drops um, for um, the nine points on the court, which we'll go through all without someone there. And then I'll actually go over on the other side so you can see um, with a natural person there what the speed is and how it's coming over. Okay, so the first shots that we're gonna go through are the drive. Um, normally when I do do the drives, um, I do leave it at the lowest point and tilt it slightly a bit forward. When loading the machine, um, I normally put in three or four shuttles first and then it holds 30 shuttles in total. So after I put those couple in, then I can literally just put the rest in. Once I've taken them out of the box, I make it so important that they don't stick together so this way it can continuously feed. Um, and so I, when I'm putting them in for the first time, once I've taken them out of the box, I normally make sure that they are, they are separate. Um, generally, once you've done it the one time, after that you won't need to do it again. You can just put the whole thing in because you're picking them up off the floor. Okay, so let's, let's hope that this works. So I've set it left and right drive. So this is one of the problems that I've, that I've been having and that's the shuttle sometimes gets stuck. When it gets stuck, this is why I've left the back off so that I can um, probe it through. The problem is if you're by yourself and using the machine, it sort of messes up your flow that you have to come back across the other side of the net to actually make sure that the shuttle shoots over. With the shuttle getting stuck, I found that sometimes it actually is the quality of the shuttle. So normally when they do get stuck, I do keep the ones that get stuck to one side. Um, this way I'm able to say, okay, right, if it's not those shuttles and I go through the rest of the session, it doesn't get stuck. Um, as you can see, it's quite consistent in the areas that it, it does shoot. Um, so you can see left and right, it's not to the far right or to the far left. Okay, and that was the left and right drive. Just a straight drive. Um, so it's just supposed to be a drive forward. Okay, so that's actually a bit better. Um, it's not as fast as I would like it. Um, I found from personal experience, and I don't really, I don't really use that shot that much unless I'm mixing it up. Um, you could adjust it to be a bit faster by putting the tripod a bit higher and facing downwards, but it's a lot of adjustments. Okay, so left and right next shot. Beautiful. And this is, yep, one of the things that I'm like, really? Really? And this is why I have so many shells because as you see, what the hell? Like seriously? Seriously? Okay, so let's go again, hopefully this time. Okay, so here we go. Left and right next shot. So what you will first, one of the main things that you will notice is that it doesn't actually shoot far into the, into the trim lines. Um, put stuff again. Yeah, it doesn't shoot far into the trim line. And it's not something that the Baddy company have actually tried to say it does. It, it, it will, um, they actually now sell a package of two machines so that you can get them going into the far left and right trend line. So as you can see where it's going now, if you wanted it to actually go a bit closer, you could actually move, move the machine a bit further back and it would actually be able to get a bit tighter to the net. Okay, so again, as you can see, sometimes the shuttle just gets stuck. 
real pain in the ass. Okay, so now we're going to do the straight clear and then I'll show you the left and right clear as well. Um, bearing in mind the recommended point for the baddie machine is just in front of the tee. I have put it a little bit higher just to get it a bit higher. I'm six foot three, so 191 centimeters. Um, so I rather I need it to go pretty high to to clear me when I'm standing mid court. Okay, so this is a straight clear. Okay, just bear with me a second. So you can change the speed of how quickly it comes out. I've accidentally changed it to every four seconds. So that's why it's going so slow. So let's bring that down to one and a half. So we're running it on one and a half, okay? So just to give you an idea, I'm gonna show you the other side. With my record up standing mid you can see how high it's coming up, okay? So that's me, mid and as you can see, that's me. Depending on how good the quality of the shot is, it's going to the, to the back line or just before the back service line. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to do the left and right clear. Um, As you can see, not very impressive. To be fair, it's not one of the, not one of the shots that I've practiced that much of, but if you can see where it's landing, it's landing where the drive was actually hit. So the other option would be to actually, I would bring the machine a bit further forward, but you can also change the speed settings on the machine. So you can make it shoot out a bit, a bit more powerful, and it should get it that difference, that, that extra distance. But as I said, the Baddy company now do, do a package for two machines, which I would also recommend because I think even if it was a new shuttle, it's getting a bit better now. Um, even if it was a new shuttle, it's still, it's still not as far as I would, I would like it. Um, when you, I'll, I'll put a picture at the end. Oh, I'll link a picture now just to show you where the nine points are that it says the machine will shoot, um, which are pretty accurate. Like it doesn't, doesn't lie. It's not saying it's going to hit the far corners. Um, as you can see, the picture shows the, the nine points that it's, it's aiming to hit. Um, those were the shots, okay? So those were, I didn't show you the, the drop, the straight net shot, but I'm sure you don't can understand from where, 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 where we saw the left and right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the same thing, but with me on the other side, just so you get a, an actual um, realistic like um, thing of the speed and with someone moving on the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the shots now. I'm going to do the left and right drive and the drops and clears and so on. Um, I normally have a chair here instead of a cone. It's good for me with my phone when I'm here by myself, so I can put my, my, my um, phone on the chair. And it also gives me an option that I never step in this middle bit. So I'm always going from left to right. Um, and even if I go here, I'm still able to go around the chair. I'm generally a mix player, so I generally would have someone standing here. So I always have to chair here. Okay, so left and right drive. Okay, so next shot we're going to do is the next shot, left and right. Okay, right, so next shot. Please don't watch my bad footwork and movement. It's just to give you an idea of what the next shots look like. Um, yeah, that wasn't the best, but I'm not recording this again, so deal with me. But we'll do the straight clear first, okay? So... Okay, so 
So I'm going to do the left and right clear. Now remember, this was a shot that when I did the video earlier on was the least impressive. Um, so I'm not expecting it to get that far because more of a, a mid-court drive than anything else, okay? So left and right clear, chair still here. Left and right uh, clears. Some of them were better than I was expecting actually. But generally they're not crossing the green line. So you can do any combination of shots, but um, up to nine, 10 in a, in a round, and then it will go back and reset again and keep doing the same nine, 10. For this, I'm just gonna show you two. I'm gonna do them in pairs, because that's often how I, I, I do do it. Um, so I'm gonna do a, a drive to the right and then a net shot. Okay, and now I'll do, I'll add another net shot to it. So what I'll do is I'll add two net shots. So not just the right side, but the left side. So net, two nets. So. so that's a combination of the shots, uh, not the best, <laughs> doesn't look the best, but it's basically consistency, so it's getting the shuttles over, hopefully if the machine feeds consistency, it should be no consistent, it should be no problem. Also another feature which I never mentioned, which is a random, so I can select a, uh, a routine that I wish to do and actually have it on a random flow, so I won't know where it's going next. So what we do is we do this one on loop, and then we do the drives on random. So the last thing I'm going to show is um, the random feature. So a combination of shots shot out randomly. So I can't preempt where they're going. So we just mix it up with four of the most difficult, not difficult points, but different points on the court. Um, put them on random, coming out at one fifth of a second. As you can see, not the best. My footwork's not the best getting caught with the clears. More realistic. Um, most important, I found when doing this drill is that I split just before it shoots out the shot. This way I'm always ready. So making sure that I'm loading with my legs. Didn't do it there for the demonstration, but you get the drill. That was the baddie machine. Um, don't judge me on my bad footwork and technique. Um, as you can see on that random shot there, it was a lot more realistic. It was very important that I was splitting um, in order to um, be ready for the next shot. Um, hopefully I'll be making more videos, so please subscribe, like, dislike if you didn't like the video, ask more questions down below, um, and hopefully I'll be making more badminton videos. Um, so yeah, please subscribe and comment down below. See ya.